UNESCO Remote Radio Week 2021. Get ready for a week devoted to helping radio stations broadcast remotely. Hello, everyone. I'm Boran Chakrun, the Director for the Division for Policy and Lifelong Learning Systems at UNESCO headquarters. You may be wondering, what is the connection between radio and education? Well, compared to digital technology, traditional analog radio is an old and cheaper technology that is widespread even in remote and less affluent populations. With such an advantage, radio like television has been an obvious alternative for delivering educational contents to children, youth, and adult population when schools and learning centers had to close down to prevent the COVID-19 transmission. According to UNESCO data that we collected in May 2020, 92 out of 195 countries worldwide have implemented educational television or radio programs during the school closures. Many countries all over the world had a mix of technologies that were used to deliver education. But since the beginning of the crisis, UNESCO itself provided assistance to no less than a dozen countries to set up on online TV and radio education programs, notably in Africa, in Chad, for example, in the Democratic Republic of uh, Congo, Liberia, Madagascar, Mali, Mozambique, Senegal, South Sudan, and Uganda. We have also supported member states in Asia, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Cambodia. In South Sudan, for example, we use the radio to train teachers, to design, develop, and facilitate live training sessions for distance learning. And in Madagascar, we trained 141 radio program designers, including primary school teachers. This program benefited for more than 2.5 million learners. In Mali, where the health crisis was cobbled, cobbled with a security crisis, our radio and television education programs provided education content to nearly 250,000 young boys and girls completing their fundamental education cycle. So colleagues, while education radio is not new in the history of education, many countries have long used it, such as Australia to reach out to learners in remote areas or to enrich the, teacher, the teaching of novice or poorly trained educators in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. The COVID crisis has taught us that getting broadcasts and educators to work together is not a given. Their respective goals are not necessarily the same. A phase of dialogue and mutual adjustment is necessary. Indeed, while broadcasters are concerned with transmission of information, raising awareness and stimulating debate, educators have a duty to ensure that the whole lesson is understood, that learners at the other end of the transmitter, often children and young people, are motivated enough to follow the whole program attentively and to engage in further reading research or written production. Looking ahead, how does UNESCO see this? We believe that the COVID crisis has been a great opportunity to bring together two worlds, broadcasting and education. UNESCO hopes that this collaboration will become stronger and be sustained in order to continue serving the great number of children, youth and adults particularly the most disadvantaged, in program that complement the face-to-face -face education and training services, hybrid modalities, for example, and to enable education system to better respond to future crises. The critical points from our perspective will be, first, to train educators and broadcasters to work together, and here UNESCO is playing its part, notably in the framework of the Global Education Coalition that we launched last year in the peak of the crisis. We have conducted a series of virtual workshops 
to share experiences between countries and uh, and implement uh, programs through broadcasting uh, of uh, programs in radio and TV. These workshops organized with the European Broadcasting Union reached more than 120 countries. We have also published resources for practitioners, specifically two manuals, one on interactive radio instruction for curriculum developers and education policy makers in sub-Saharan Africa, and one for teachers around the world with guidance on distance learning, including radio uh, programs. We are also currently collaborating with the WordCast, a broadcasting company to provide technical support to our member states who wish to set up educational radio stations and measure student learning through uh, phone and, and technology that is accessible to those disadvantaged groups. Another critical issue from our perspective is to secure daytime slots for educational programs for children and young people on radio station with national coverage. And we consider this a responsibility of decision makers in those countries. Where these stations operate on commercial basis, the bargaining power of uh, ministries of education sometimes is weak. And we need to empower them with the right arguments, with the right justification, and uh, insist that education is a common good. It remains a basic human rights to be respected in all circumstances. And solution must be found at the local level. Last and not least, in my opinion, there is a need to improve access to digital technology and the internet for all in order to take full advantage of many other possibilities offered by digital radio that is growing and that is now common in many contexts in many countries. Dear colleagues, I would like uh, to take the advantage of the forum offered by Remote Radio Week and the presence of many radios and NGO media actors to launch an appeal to all of those who wish to further engage in the broadcasting of educational program to join UNESCO and its partners in the Global Education Coalition, globaleducationcoalition.unesco.org. Thank you for your attention. My name is Fakhra Najib. I am the founder and chief executive officer of Power 99 Foundation. Power 99 is the first independent radio station in Pakistan that broadcasted its transmission in 2003. Since its inception, Power 99 has broadcast various children and youth targeted programs like Storytelling Time, Knowledge is Fun, and Go Green. In 2012, Power 99 Foundation pioneered interactive radio instruction program, Broadcast Listen to Learn, in Pakistan. Assalamualaikum, teacher and students. <laughs> is benefiting millions of children across Pakistan. COVID-19 affected the education of 46.8 million children enrolled in school in Pakistan. Uh, this crisis could have long-term implications, especially for the most vulnerable. And in a country where we already have 22 million children out of school, this may impact children's education, especially losses in learning and increased dropout. In the mid of COVID-19, where children were facing a serious issue of academic disconnect due to lack of technology, infrastructure, and affordability, Power 99, in partnership with UNESCO Pakistan, launched the program Radio My Best Friend. Radio My Best Friend program resolved the quality and access issue by offering cost-effective solution to the problem. The program was broadcasted through private and national radios network in 18 districts, targeting children studying in grade one, two, three. The quality dimension was addressed by offering the content which is based on national curriculum and universal cross-cutting themes while integrating art and culture. Art and culture through musical radio van which traveled from one district to another, educating children about their heritage, heritage site, geography, environment and lifestyle. The program has been instrumental in supporting girls' education by providing them quality education at their doorstep. The female radio teacher and friends were there to teach children about their academics and art and culture through musical radio van, giving their imagination a new journey every day. Hello, my name is Manha Mubarak and I am from Gilgit Baltistan. Radio is my teacher. Radio is my best friend. I like Gulu in radio because she is smart and full of ideas for games. 
I love musical radio van. Bye. The program continues to evolve in response to the changing need of its beneficiaries. Following its success, we are committed to enrich the content with the aim of serving more diverse group of learners. Radio My Best Friend program has proved that there is a widespread uptake of radio due to its affordability, access, sustainability, and it is an acceptable technology. For the radio sector, there is a wide scope to improve their professional skill and the standard of their content. That will give them the representation and will enhance their popularity and social capital. We thank UNESCO Pakistan, Government of Italy and Government of Pakistan for partnership and supporting us for engaging and motivating millions of children across Pakistan for education during COVID-19 crisis.